in this video, we're going to talk about transferring your email and your Google Drive content to a personal account. Now, keep in mind that when you do this, you want to make sure that you clean out any Google Drive or email that may contain personal info about students and whatnot. So this is from the perspective of a teacher wanting to pull files and content uh, from their account into a personal account so that way they can keep some of their drive contents and whatnot. All right, so with that, let's get started. You can go to myaccount.google.com. You are going to click right here where it says control your content. And then you have the option to download or transfer your content. So you can create an archive, that's one way to do it, or you can just transfer straight from here, which is very handy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start transfer. And then it's going to ask me for a destination account. And this is where you put in an email address to be able to do this. So I'm going to set up my destination account as my school account. Uh, you would use your personal account or, or other school account if you are changing school districts. And so it'll ask, don't have a Google account, create account, you can. You send a code to the email address that you have access to. I hit the button and then I should get a code here in a little bit. All right, and I just received this email. I'm going to get a confirmation code and you just need to copy the code. I'll copy it and then I'm gonna go back to the account that I need to put the code into. I'll paste it and verify. It's gonna ask me if I want to transfer from this email address to this email address. You can choose which contents you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything because there's not much in here. Um, and I'll go ahead and hit start transfer. It'll say you're set, your copy and transfer to lyoder.msdsc.us is in progress. It may take up to a week for the transfer to complete. You'll receive an email when it is finished. Uh, you can view your history or go back to your account, All right? So with that, I'm gonna go back what will happen is you will also receive an email letting you know that it is in process and the content is on its way. Now, when it has transferred, you can then check your email. And over here on the left-hand side, if you have labels preset, you can see any emails that have come from that account. It'll have the email address over here and all of those will be stored. So as you can see, all those emails for the student are there. Also what happens is it'll take the items and it'll create a folder and it'll say who it came from, that email address, and then within that folder you can see any of the items that have been transferred over. That includes video, that includes folders, anything that you wanted to keep is now available in your personal account. Now, the trick is though, is I transferred from a school account to a school account, so I have a lot of space. If you transfer from a school account to a personal account, you may exceed your space used. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you have a lot of video content and whatnot, it may be too much. So if you exceed your use, you may want to look for areas where you may have video content. So what I will do is I will search videos. And when I do that, what it'll do is it'll go through and show where I have videos existing. And you can see the size over here. If they are Google Docs, slides, sheets, forms, drawings, all those kinds of googly items, if they are those items, they do not count against you. If I scroll down and I go to some examples here of Google Docs and whatnot, you can see all these folders. Look at all these folders. They don't take up space. Some of these do because they have videos and whatnot to them. But these over here do not. So Google items will transfer to a Google Drive account and you do not have to worry about those taking up space. However, if they are video content, they may eat up your space and you will want to check into that and make sure that that's not happening. So I'll use that again and I will see that I have items that I need to possibly delete in order to make enough room and for a free account. For a free account, you get up to 15 gigabytes of space. You can pay for more at a low cost.